Welcome to another grammar lesson brought to you by eBankyou.com and Genki Kids A Kaiwa. In this lesson, we will cover location and prepositions in, out of, on, under, below, above, behind, in front of, next to, between. Okay, let's get started. One way to use a preposition is to put it after the be verb. In this case, you have the following order. A book is on the desk. So the subject, what you are talking about, comes first, followed by the verb, and then the location preposition after the verb, and lastly, the actual location of the object. Okay, so you put the preposition on between the be verb and the location is on the desk, as in a book is on the desk, on the desk. Where is it? On the desk. Also, the following articles have these meanings when used with prepositions: a equals one, the equals. Something specific. Some equals more than one or amount. Okay, so your subject can be a variety of things, such as a pen, which equals one pen, as in a pen is on the desk. Or it can be some pens, which you're referring to more than one pen, plural, as in some pens are in the box. Or it can be a specific thing, as in The cat, as in the cat is under the table, or it can be a plural form of a specific thing, as in the cats. The cats are behind the sofa. Okay, when you want to use something that is not countable, you can use some, as in some water is in the cup. You can also use people as your subject, as in he. He is in front of the station. Okay, let's try those sentences one more time. A pen is on the desk. Some pens are in the box. The cat is under the table. The cats are behind the sofa. Some water is in the cup. He is in front of the station. A pen is on the desk. Some pens are in the box. The cat is under the table. The cats are behind the sofa. Some water is in the cup. He is in front of the station. Okay, let's practice with some more example sentences. Here we go. A boat is below the bridge. Some clouds are above the house. The dog is in the house. The cat is out of the house. A tree is between the houses. My mother is next to a. Tree. Okay, let's try that at a normal pace this time. Here we go. A boat is below the bridge. Some clouds are above the house. The dog is in the house. The cat is out of the house. A tree is between the houses. My mother is next to a tree. Okay, you read the sentences next. A boat is below the bridge. Some clouds are above the house. The dog is in the house. The cat is out of the house. A tree is between the houses. My mother is next to a tree. Great, excellent, everybody. Thank you for listening. For more practice using lessons and tests, check out ebankyo.com. eBankyo is a website that provides over fourteen thousand different lessons and tests. 
that enables students to learn and practice English at their own pace. There are many lessons available for all levels, starting from basic vocab, phonics, and grammar. Each of the points covered will also have many corresponding lessons and tests at ebankyo.com. I hope to see you there. Have a good day.